Unfortunately, today we have bad news for the iPhone 12. According to a new report from Fast Company, only the 6.7 inch iPhone 12 will support the faster millimeter wave version of 5G. Apparently, only the iPhone 12 Pro Max includes enough physical space for the millimeter wave 5G hardware, which is extremely sad. And in addition to this, something that made me think a lot more about this is that only iPhone 12 Pro Max models shipped to the US, Korea, and Japan will support this technology. All of the other models will support the 6 gigahertz 5G connectivity. So guys, let me know what you think about the 5G, the faster 5G being available only in one iPhone 12 Pro model, only in the big version, the 6.7 inch. I feel like at least we should have the same 5G technology on both of the Pro models. I believe it's not that great that it's going to be only in one model of the iPhone 12 Pro. So let me know down below what you think, because I am curious to see if you think like me or not. Ming-Chi Kuo has previously forecasted that all of the iPhone 12 models will receive 5G support, but he hasn't said anything about which type. So he didn't say anything about this faster option and the other one. And other analysts um, predicted that all four models, um, that only two of the four models would have the faster 5G support. So this is not extremely happy, happy news for the iPhone. But I guess we will have to wait for the release and see. And talking about the release date, which is something that we all want to know more about, it really seems like we will have to wait until October. And a few analysts have said that we may even have to wait until November. So we may get um, the non-pro models in October and the pro models in November, which is really sad. <laughs> it's already delayed, so I feel like Hoping for October was already better than November. But Broadcom confirmed that a ramp up of their ship, their chip shipments is delayed. And analysts believe, analysts believe that these chips are for the iPhone 12. So this kind of confirms that we may need to wait a little bit more for the iPhone 12 release. And now moving on to the AirTags. They are rumored to happen to be released in October. If you don't know what the AirTags are, they are Apple's tile-like tracking devices. So you can attach the AirTags to keys and wallets, basically to things that you always lose and you need help finding. <laughs> then you can use the Find My app to track your item. I really like this. I feel like I may get one if it's really released, but once again, we don't have an exact date and it's only rumored for October. So if it's if it, if it happens in October, we may be able to see this release alongside with the iPad release that we're waiting. Now talking about the Apple Watch, an Apple Watch prototype image was shared by Apple Demo YT. And this is really interesting because this Apple Watch is a prototype and it came in a security case that really looks like an iPod Nano. It came in a cardboard box marked Apple Confidential. I thought it was really interesting to see this. Um, so let's see. The photos show a prototype stainless steel Apple Watch concealed within a silicone security case marked with a redacted serial number. Apple usually transports its prototype and testing units in thick protective cases that are intended to mislead and conceal the true design of the product. I thought this was very interesting to see. And here is the Apple demo page on Twitter with the photos. Now, just a few tweets from John Prosser. 
and on september 2nd he posted that next week is going to be very interesting just so you guys know he believes that we will be seeing a new ipad and a new apple watch next week maybe on monday or tuesday and he keeps confirming that he believes this in all of his twitter posts today actually yesterday at 10.6 pm he posted these three emojis he didn't say anything else but i think this really confirms that he is still waiting for new apple releases next week and finally just a quick update for you guys about ios 14 iOS 14 beta 7 was released and there are just a few changes. Now there are dark mode rainbow wallpapers. They were not available beforehand. I like this option. I really like the wallpapers that switch between dark mode and light mode. We also have um, a new app library. Actually, they, it was a little bit tweaked. So the categories were tweaked a little bit and they seem to be better and the airpods banner was changed because there was an incorrect text on this banner so this was fixed on the beta 7. and this is all for today i'm going to come back as soon as i have more information and if you enjoyed this type of videos don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and if you're interested in more rumors i have plenty of other videos that you can watch don't forget to share this video with your friends thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time